Aaron Zev here, welcome to Talesman VR Overview. I don't know how this release missed me last week, but it might have to do something with the fact that it's the first quest free exclusive on the platform. <laughs> like Meta wasn't kidding that first exclusives will start to happen in 2024, but I didn't expect it to be that fast. <laughs> So Townsman VR is a managing building simulator game where you find yourself alone on the sea that leads up to your crash on some random mysterious island and you need to create a thriving population of Townsmen to survive in this new adventure setting. We had many other games from that genre before, although this one I believe I would treat as a full release that actually holds true to the mechanics that actually should have been there in the first place. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here specifically with the interaction you have because you freely can pick up anything and then help out your townsmen move the resources or even work alongside them to build a proper city I would say that the resolution might be sometimes a bit grainy when looking in over big distances and the graphics aren't necessarily top tier but for this specific thing they're pretty accurate considering there's a lot of possibilities and stuff you can do out there it's also a first one that you can freely build anywhere you want and you're not locked to specific requirements to do so unless there's a lack of space in the environment but that's very much understandable I only dwelled into the campaign which was a bit confusing going into cause I don't know what was going on but apparently through the scenario mode you unlock stuff to do in the sandbox and as the trailer is showing there will be combat and just fully a settler's experience going on which never have happened before I mean if quest free exclusives will go into this route of games that actually make sense and utilize its full potential then we're in for the bright future on the platform let's create a thriving city good day are you all right it's me sir clunkalot your personal advisor i am glad we survived this giant wave we should get a better over well done. <laughs> but you can do even more if you grab with both hands. Move one hand forward and the other one back to turn. Let's look around. Follow me. <laughs> what the? There you are. There's not much to see here at... See? This giant wave could not be caused by a storm. Follow me. This wave hit us at a bad time. We were just about to get back from our secret mission. King Richard needs to know everything we have seen. Let's go back to the ship. Our sail is completely broken. The crew should be able to fix it with the resources floating around the ship. Pick up the resources with your index finger and put them back on the ship. Be careful that you also don't grab to move at the same time by accident. There's some nice detail going on. The problem is that the resolution, you can tell. It's very grainy from a distance, so... We'll see what's gonna happen. Oh, there's also a drawing distance. When we'll unlock the full island. Oh, <laughs> interactions. I'm a working god. <laughs> And fully like interactions with the environment. <laughs> no! <laughs> Note to self cats don't swim, apparently. Ah, oh, we're moving! But where is all this fog coming from? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. 
Oh, we crashed again? The hell, mate? The situation hasn't improved at all. Now, we're shipwrecked. Let's take a look at this island. To zoom out, grab with both hands stretched out and pull them together. Great. Follow me. There you are. To zoom in, grab with both hands close. To continue, return to the default size in the middle. This island is pretty small. Let's get back to the shipwreck to see what's left. Not much. We saved some of the cargo. I wonder what's inside these chests. Activate the building info and press the icon on top of our chests. Uh -huh. The building info is only one of several helpful menus. Open the main menu. The main menu gives you access to a lot of general options, but there is a different overview to show you all relevant information about the current island. Open the island info. You could have as well just stick to the buttons because they don't do anything for now. The Here you can see your current tasks in case you don't know what to do next. The island info also provides an overview of your population and resources. There is enough wood and stone to build a residence for our people. Open the build menu. Now press the population icon. Grab the building and drag it to a place on the ground with enough space. Oh. Free range building, that's nice. Because normally in games like that would be locked. Workers will now construct a new building. I'll help you all to get close to the resources. Great! Residences increase the population limit of your town. If grilled meat is brought to the residence, a new townsman will appear. Okay. In order to build more houses, we need more wood. Create a woodcutter by dragging someone to a tree. Uh... The what? <laughs> well, um... He didn't repeat the instructions, so... I'm kinda in a limbo. There was something about... Wood production, but... Where's he going? Hey. Okay, so it needs to be a big one. Need a place to store wood. Build a woodcutter's cabin. So I have to like give them tasks. They do stuff automatically. It's just more guidance, I suppose. I mean, this feels like a proper crafting game, like managing the city and all. We don't need this windmill, and it's blocking a lot of space. Let's tear it down. Open the windmill's building info. Everyone goes to work. Now click the tear down button and drag the hammer onto the windmill. This old bridge is broken. Assign a worker to the bridge to repair it. Yeah, 
You're doing some BS, so... Get to it. Well, I suppose they need to, yeah, take the other <laughs> resources, but they're going around because they're thirsty, right? I know they're searching for trees. <laughs> With some stuff drawing distance is kinda weird cause I can see those deers very clearly from the distance but some other stuff disappeared like here this cat it's way closer but I'm not sure why maybe it's not usable or something Side, build a stonemason's hut so we can get stone. I mean, now that you kind of fiddle with the controls a little bit, it makes more sense. But I still don't know what the patterns do at all. Oh, and the trees regrow. The pets don't do anything useless. Do you swim? Okay, well... <laughs> to turn the wooden logs into boards, we need a saw. Activate the building info and press the icon on top of the woodcutter. Because you can't select them prior to taking the info or stuff. Press the build options button and drag the saw close to the woodcutter to place it. Something's happening, that's for sure. I wonder if there will be like resource centers because they need to cross big distances for some stuff. We now have basic construction resources, but our townsmen also need food. Build a hunting lodge. Get out, dear. Be nice to have like a callback button for everyone. What? We don't have resources? Why are you standing? This one is stretching. Guess I need to have at least one dedicated to gathering stuff. You are just randomly walking, huh? <laughs> but now this resolution don't bother me. I thought it's gonna be like worse while in the gameplay, but it's totally okay. I like the small details that the actual items appear. I wonder if I can click on them and then I'll see what they are doing currently. Now, I can see only like the general status, but not to what they are assigned to. The hunter will bring back raw meat from hunting. 
We need to cook the meat before we can eat it. Build a tavern. So I suppose this is gonna be like a hub. Ooh, that's big. <laughs> I mean, I dig it. It's definitely something more that the other games were offering in the past. I have a lot of wood now, so I'll just speed up the... No, quarry it's fine. I need two people building at the same time. <laughs> but I also appreciate that he's just randomly processing wood to planks. I didn't assign it. And the actions are cute. Okay, well it's time to end here, but I can clearly tell that there's a lot of things going on for you to get busy here and totally forget the time. <laughs> I will say that specifically for uh, building your own colony or population management and stuff like that, this is the best one out there and if it's because quest free what <laughs> we have food water and resources for now our town can survive but we have to get off this island eventually maybe we can get help if we repair this old lighthouse anyways <laughs> wait what's happening here <laughs> hello this is my meat, mate. <laughs> and that's also what I like. Fully... He's coming back. Interactions with the world. Different just situations going on and... Yeah, this is fun. Like you definitely feel a part of this world little details around and an actual freedom of building because that didn't happen before and going back to the point maybe quest 3 actually at last lets you have a fully immersive experience of this genre in a proper way i would say that the resolution from the distance when you have stuff minimized it's a bit grainy but close up it's also like enough detail going on with the characters and everything around. Overall, I very much dig it. Maybe the graphics or few stuff could be a bit better, but considering the capabilities, I very much enjoy it.